three tournaments on this mammoth day of action here at Barnsley Metrodome. And we have seen a win for Fallon Sherrick, a win for Lisa Ashton, and now the pair meet in the final of event nine. Objective one for both of these ladies was qualify for the World Championship. That is now confirmed. 45. Both the Lancashire Rose and the Queen of the Palace will be at Ali Pali. Fallon has already secured her spot at the Grand Slammer Darts from the first weekend Six. of the Women's Series. And it's down to Lisa to see if she can join her over the next 24 hours. Chris Murphy alongside me for the two big beasts in the Women's Series going head-to-head -head once more. Yeah, really glad that it's all been settled, really, with a, a day and a game to spare because we can just sit back and enjoy the two best players in the women's series Holy battling fun. out in yet another final. I'd be interested to know if they know that they're qualified because there hasn't been that big a gap between the semis and the final. I'm not sure if they've checked their phones or if anybody's been telling them but maybe they can play with a bit of freedom. Maybe they'll just go, oh, I'm there now, don't matter. And they just no, produce their worst performances of the day. I don't think it'll happen. One hundred and forty. Pretty tight in this opening leg. Who's got the best setup shot from here? Forty-five. I think there will be a little bit of each of them that wants to win the order of merit, wants to win this little head-to-head. -head. I know that the 100. all the fighting about who's the best goes on between everybody else apart from them. Forty-one. And obviously Ashton has that added incentive of trying to bolster her bid for the Grand Slam, but it's Sherrick Very who good. seals the first leg. The very clinical kill of 86 against the throw as well. Yeah, just got a little bit messy towards the end of that leg for Lisa Ashton. And here comes Fallon. She will be top of the order of merit, irrespective of the result of this game. It'll either be the difference of 11 grand or... Uh, 11, 1100 pounds, sorry. 11 right. grand would be some going at a grander tournament, wouldn't it? But 1100 pounds or 300 pounds. Uh, Fallon Sherrick, that's because she's only failed to reach 59. the final once. That was in the very first event. She's managed now eight on the spin. Astonishing. 108. Lisa Ashton, quite capable of the astonishing herself. These two are so far clear. I mean, they're, they're three, four grand clear of the next highest player on the order of merit, four. Dieter Hedman. Mikuru Suzuki. A few hundred behind that, but the, the attention will now turn not to the overall order of merit, but the order of merit for what just this weekend to see who can grab that Grand Slam spot. As you can imagine, Lisa Ashton is in pole position for that one, but there are players like Mikuru Suzuki, like Dieter Hedman, who can 85. pip her potentially tomorrow. 57. Sherrick not on a finish. After a dozen darts, Lisa not needing to tee up the bullseye. 95. Sherrick sure just appears in the rear view mirror now. Can Ashton accelerate away? Okay. She can. It's another clinical finish this time for Ashton to break. 1-1. One, one. Yeah, very nicely done. Working away down towards the double 16. A lot of talk about orders of merit and relative positions. I know it's there's basically it's darts and some really good darts this weekend, but there's a lot of databases and spreadsheets as well, which may not be the most exciting thing. But it certainly is important, particularly for Lisa Ashton, who has got herself onto the tour. And look at this. Oh, unlucky. At the minute, she's 83rd in the world rankings. She's got to get in the top 64 come the start of next year to keep hold of her tour card, which I believe will be an even greater achievement than her winning it at Q School in the first place. 
But to do that, she's going to have to pick up maybe £20,000. 44. Yeah, so two and a half of that would come as a minimum at the Grand Slam. A minimum. And at the Worlds, what is it, seven and a half? Seven minimum? and a half for the first round. But were she to win a game there, we've also got three more Pro Tour events yeah, to yeah. come. There are opportunities. But getting to the Grand Slam might be the thing that makes the difference. And as we said earlier on, 100. I don't think it's a ridiculous idea to think that Fallon and Lisa could both get to the Grand Slam and could both get out of their groups. 134. Oh, that is an exceptional last start from Fallon Sherrick. 92. Yeah, it was a really good performance to see off Sherrick, really good game, actually, that final. 5-3 in Ashton's favour. Yeah, and the two legs she lost, Fallon, she had some darts, and he was just sticking them right on the outside wire, wasn't she? It was infuriatingly close. But they're the margins we're talking about between success and defeat when these two go head-to-head. -head. Yes, I know they've wiped each other out, you know, 5-0 for Fallon in a final the other weekend. But Lisa has an incredible winning record against her over the course of their careers. But right now, these two are so close, we are talking the width of wires is what's separating them. Should look at the ball here. That doesn't need to, I suppose. So, yeah, stay there and try for the 171. One hundred. Yeah, I'm not sure, as you said, how aware they will be in what is... A bit of a minefield at times as to what is needed to be done, but I think both of them know that if we just keep getting to the finals and there's no chance that anybody else can stop us for either the World Championship or the Grand Slam of Darts. I think when these two two have played as they have today, they've got to have an element of tunnel vision anyway, haven't they? Just 100. get here, throw, try and stay at as high a level as possible, and then we'll see where we are at the end of the day. Double 16. Game shot. Another strong leg of darts from Fallon Sherrick. This time out in 15 as her average creeps up over the 90 mark. Remember, she's been in all three finals today. That means she's played 18 matches over the course of the last, what, 10 hours? 21. Some effort. One hundred. One hundred. Yeah, really good cover shooting on those nineteens once again from Fallon. Sixty. So far on days at the Women's Series in 2021. One of these players has won one title, the other one has won two, and that is going to carry on here. Remember, we do return tomorrow from around about 10 a.m. to see if this dominant spell can be broken by anybody. And as you mentioned at the start of the day, Fallon Sherrick's temperament, it doesn't matter. You can A bomb can go off next to her, and she still seems to be able to maintain her calm, and hit doubles and take out enormous shots under pressure. When she won those matches at the Alexandra Palace. It was... It's just been a privilege to watch this pair go head to head, 100. time after time after time, most of the time in finals, to decide the winner of these tournaments, both earning a decent amount of money moments I'm sure await 100. this pair and the world championship will certainly be better for the two of them being part of it well look if Fallon wants it she could finish up this game Six. doesn't have to come back tomorrow she's in the slam she's in the world I think she'll chill despite a long week here on the pro tour it's a great opportunity Six. when Fallon Cherrick does turn up tomorrow morning. She looked between the pair. Five for Fallon, four for Lisa Ashton. Both of them are going to the World Championship, a tournament that will be better for it. Both the Queens of Darts, 
playing at the Palace, and we're going to hear from the pair of them now as Lisa Ashton and Fallon Sherrick have a word with Dan Dawson. Talking to that one there, Lisa. And I know you're very talented, but talking out the back of your head is probably not one of your strengths. At the minute, I don't even know where I'm looking. I'll give you a moment. Let's start with Fallon. First off, um, congratulations. You've played some excellent stuff again today. It must be very satisfying. Yeah, no, it's very satisfying. Um, I'm really happy with how I'm playing at the moment. And yeah, no, I'm really happy with the wins today. And it's, yeah, it's really good. First things first, you're both going to Ali Pali. You're both going to the World oh, Championship. Yeah. It is done. I wasn't, yeah. it, where, when, when were you aware of this? Was that just now or had you been told already? So I got told before I played Dita. I, uh, I think they told me I had to win. So I was like, ah, but yeah, after that I knew. Okay, you're going back there. You are going back there as well, Lisa. Have you, is this the moment you found out? Well, somebody said it was, wasn't sure, but now it is sure, so happy days. Yeah, well, look, another chance to go back to Ali Pali. That, that was objective one for, for this whole women's series, and, and you two have played some absolutely magnificent stuff. You must be incredibly happy. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Um, my game's lifting, and I'm getting a bit tired now, but, yeah, I'm happy I've got one, but I've got another mission to do as well. Well, yeah, the Grand Slam spot as well, You've already secured yours. We'll be back in a moment. But these are long old days, aren't they? Particularly when you're going deep in every event. Do you think that playing all week on the Pro Tour has been a help? Or you, does it mean you're raring to go? Or is it a hindrance because you're absolutely shattered? It's both ways, yeah. But it's helped me. Good practice for, for this weekend. But it's like today now, I, I'm tired. I'm tired. But back on to tomorrow, new start. And let's hopefully I can get that other spot. A word on this rivalry. I mean, this is like... <laughs> This is like Phil Taylor and Michael Van Gogh, and this is absolutely <laughs> absorbing stuff for darts fans. What's what's it like? You're, you're playing each other so regularly, and you seem to be pushing each other on. You 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 don't have bad games, you two. No, we don't. No, everybody puts their rival with with there, but we don't do it. We know we're going to push each other on the games, and hopefully, everybody enjoys it, and we'll play best as we can. Well, I mean, if, if you were to be... I mean, you're both going to Ali Pali. You could both be at the Grand Slam. I mean, there's a genuine chance that you two going to the Grand Slam can produce some of this stuff. You can get out your group and you reach knockout rounds. I mean, you could have enormous impacts on two of the biggest tournaments in the world over the coming months, could you not? Yeah, definitely, yeah. We're not in there just to make the numbers up. Me and Fallon know what we can play. We can still improve, so hopefully I can get there out Fallon and we can show the men we're here to stay. Absolutely. Look, final word, Fallon. Um, you could go home now if you wanted. Uh, you don't. You don't have to be here tomorrow. I presume that you, you will be returning because there's some good money to be won. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm going to come back tomorrow and still play in it because I enjoy. I, to be fair, I enjoy playing in it because you know it's good setup. Just great money to be won, and it's great practice for me because what else have I got to play in really? What is that feeling going to be like for you stepping back on that stage, Ali Pali, where you had all that six? Where this sort of journey. Not began, but it was a significant step for you where things, lots of different things started to happen. Yeah, no, it's going to be a great experience to go back there, especially like now the crowds are allowed back in because I felt like obviously last year where it was a bit flat because obviously watching it on TV, it's not the same, but I'm quite happy that I get to go back with crowds. Um, so, yeah, no, I'm just looking forward to it. Um, I can't even remember what you just said. I'm just over the moon at the moment. Well, look, over the moon. Off to Ali Pali. Both of these ladies are going to Alexandra Palace in the World Championship. Fallon's already secured her spot at the Grand Slam of Darts. That was sealed before this weekend, but Lisa Ashton has put herself in pole position to join her there. We're back tomorrow from around about 10 o'clock, and we've got three more ladies' women's series events, I should say. That's the proper title. And these two are undoubtedly the two to be. We might see some more epic matches between them. See you then. Well done.